What's the first thing I do when I go up to a girl? I buy her a drink. Yes, always. Without fail, you buy her a drink even if she doesn't want one, you insist. And do I talk about myself? Never. Never talk about yourself, always about her. Because bar banter is boring. It's the so worst. you put the impetus on her. She has to be the interesting one. Impress me. Impress me with how interesting you are. It's a big game. Game. Creepy, creepy little game. Oh, you that's play. judgmental, isn't it? Mm -hmm. At the end of the night, what do I do? Do I ask them to come home with me? No, you tell them to come home with you. They have no choice in the matter. It is your choice, and they are so overjoyed to have had the opportunity to make sweet, sweet love to you. Oh, and we drew. He, as would yeah. I be overjoyed <laughs> for that, that opportunity. Uh, that was Ryan Gosling's character, if you didn't already know, from Crazy Stupid <laughs> Love, recapping for Steve Carell's character the right way to pick up a girl. But what about when the roles are reversed? Do the rules change when the girl hits on the guy? Yahoo.com's Ask a Pickup Artist explored this very question. All we're changing in a pickup is a reformatting of how we talk, now, not what we say. And instead of you answering a question like, what do you do, like all logically, if a girl asks me, like, what do I do? I'm like, for work or for fun? For um, work. Do you know what the internet is? Yes. <laughs> all right, sweet, <laughs> awesome. Do you know what the Google is? Yes. When you type in anything into the Google and all those ads come up, yeah. that's what I do. I could have just said I'm an internet marketer. I went through a process that made it way more engaging. Yeah. Did it really change who I was? No. Exactly. That's really smart. Okay, really so he's smart. a pickup artist. <clears throat> I have a feeling it's not that hard to uh, <laughs> no. um, But this is kind of a fun topic to explore. Some crazy pickup lines that you guys have experienced. Oh, I don't you know, know what? if it's... Oh, oh, I walked through the mall one day and a guy threw his cell phone at me. What? On the floor. And really? what, what, what was that like? Am I it supposed was supposed to, to be like for me to pick up and I, I'm guessing put my number in. Didn't happen. Oh, I stepped over really? it. But I was just like, that... That's new. Okay, yeah, that's that's a lazy lame. man. That's the yeah. newest one I've, that's I've had. I was gonna say because we have talked about this before that Morgan doesn't really get so much the people hitting on her, but the people who follow you out yeah. of places and like try <laughs> to like oh, let me walk you to your car yeah. or let me yeah. you know they get really accompany aggressive. You. Yeah, I think I'm just too kind. I don't think guys understand. It's fine to hit on a woman or have a nice conversation yeah. with her, but if she's putting yeah. out the vibe that she doesn't want it. She doesn't want it. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Uh, You're just it's making not, it awkward. It's, sometimes it's not hard to get. It's really just uninterested. But you know, I feel though for guys because that's got to be it's really rough. intimidating and very scary to have your eye on somebody and to get the courage to go up and actually talk to them. So True. really, you've got to have your game on, and that just takes experience. And I've had a guy come up to me and start a conversation by, "How much money do you make?" Really? Like, like that? Wow. Like, like that's gonna get me to go out with now you? I'm that's your angle? I mean, I mean you know what's tough for guys too is like women travel in packs, and yeah. I would yeah. be very intimidated <laughs> right, to course. go Large break through the pack girls. of women yeah. to get to the one <laughs> yeah. that I'm looking at. So I yeah. think it would be nice for the ladies to hit on the guys every now and then. Although it's tough do that. because um, no, I'm it, not built. Yeah, me neither. I'm, I'm, not I'm built. a little I'm like, um, no, no. Yeah. But if there was somebody you genuinely were really interested in, you're telling me you would let that opportunity go because you wanted him to come to you that badly. Probably. I because think then I feel like it's, a, I'm, I'm afraid that it'll be a predecessor to the rest of our relationship. If I make that first move then, yes. then I'll have to do the first everything and now I'm planning dates and now I'm buying gifts first and then you drive wow. like that's I'm I don't want you to really start think ahead I, <laughs> I don't know you seem like the person if there's something you want you would go after yeah it. That's when it's all. food I'm just, <laughs> when it's french fries yes if it's but a I, french fry I'm there I think it's hard though in this day and age especially with social networking and not quite knowing like what the rules are when it I comes know. to dating and especially with more women working guys are not sure do I open the car door do I not do I approach right her? what does she and, want and I think mm -hmm. women feel the same way they're not sure do we also take the upper hand and try and do that but you don't want to feel like you're chasing after a exactly. guy or yeah. they think you're too aggressive yeah. like right this chick which could be a turn everything yeah, yeah. That's a rough life. Yeah, it's hard out there for a pimp. <laughs> I mean, 